Roger Venables, uh, yes. Chief Executive of SQL. Uh, right. What are you doing here at the EIC's annual conference? Well, SQL is a sustainability rating system for infrastructure across the whole piece. And we're in, although we're not a campaigning organisation, we're really interested in being involved in conferences of this nature. We're very happy to be co-sponsoring this conference for EIC. And we've done that because we're interested in putting SQL in front of uh, key opinion formers, influencers of people in the construction industry, as well as prospective users like clients and designers and contractors. So we think it's a good opportunity for us in that respect. Well, so obviously SQL's whole mission is to drive or to measure uh, performance uh, across the sustainability sector uh, and drive improvement. Um, have you been seeing improvements? Are we getting better? Uh, I think there's absolutely no doubt that we that overall, uh, well, the only people who can comment about it are the people who use SQL, yeah. but overall, uh, we're seeing that people are improving their performance in a, in a range of ways. Yeah. Um, give you one example. When we first introduced the idea of life cycle energy assessments, which came in in 2008, version four of the scheme, people started by saying, uh, excuse me, what's one of these? And people were sco scoring relatively low scores in the energy section because some of the things in there were at the leading edge at the time. Yeah. By the time we had the next version, four years later, people were scoring in the 80s and 90s in the energy section because through the guidance in the manuals and putting these questions in front of the industry, people began to understand not only why uh, life cycle energy assessments and life cycle carbon assessments were important, but also how to do them. Yeah. So yes, yeah. that's just one example. But it's also making the link between, uh, I suppose, uh, higher sustainable environmental performance and I suppose lower cost, uh, lower operational cost, low, lower capital cost. Is that, is that coming across? That, that is definitely coming across. I think to a, uh, the, a greater extent than with buildings, mm -hmm. uh, at least that's what our assessors tell us. Uh, we have a, a very considerable number of case studies mm -hmm. on the SQL website and particular examples within there uh, show how driving forward environmental and social performance actually can save uh, the whole team money or the client money or indeed the contractor money. It varies. And I think one of the really important things about SQL is this influencing role that it has. Fundamentally, it's a rating system that gives an answer to the team at the end of the process. But the, the influencing role comes from the assessor putting the issues in the scheme in front of their project team colleagues and particularly the questions where there's a progressive scale. You know, project managers might say, well, where are we on this scale? And the answer's halfway up. Well, how much does it cost to get to the top? And the answer's actually, well, actually, if we climb to the top, we'll save some money as well as have a higher performance. So we're here talking about uh, trying to influence the government policy in the future. Do you feel positive about uh, the ability of uh, the industry to, uh, to raise uh, sustainable issues higher up the political agenda? I frankly think there's a, a mixed picture there. I think there's a big role for SQL in driving that forward. Uh, some people seem to be, have got to the point where they think the S word, the sustainability issue, should be embedded yeah. and therefore don't regard it as special anymore. I don't think we're there yet. So I think there is a big role for SQL and, and other tools in, in, uh, of, of a particular character to, to help the industry drive forward this performance. Uh, we're not at a point yet where these things are completely embedded uh, and are no longer special. We still have to have a driver uh, in this particular area, I'm well, quite sure. Hopefully conferences like today should help. So thank you very much for supporting us today. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Roger.